Let's put a Temple of Malice down, because there's nothing more evil than scrying one. View top one card of library. Oh. There's sacrifice all your opponent's permanents, but, you know, that's not in this set, I don't think. I am going to put this card onto the bottom of my library. That is as soon as I... Oh, it's because I'm selecting the section. Move to... Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, I still have my manor. Uh, oh, that is dumb expensive. Okay. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to pay four. I am going to enchant my Flame Wreath Phoenix with the Spiteful Returned. Alright, which well, gives him 1-1 one, one and um, Afflict, technically. So, I will swing into you for 4. During the attacking step, you take 2 damage. Or lose 2 life. Mm -hmm. And I will take and I will take uh, 4 damage from Flint Reef. And that is my turn. Okay. Mm Draw. Yay! Alright. Uh, during my main phase, because I have a land on top of my library, I can have Corsair of Phoenix drop that uh, from the top of my library. And I nice. will gain a life. Beautiful. Mm. Ah. The, issue, uh, the, uh, the issue is what I was hoping to do is no longer viable, so instead I'll have to do something else. Hmm. Let's see here. I Other do have than... that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend four mana in order to cast Dawn to Dusk. Oh boy. You have and options. And I have options. I'm first going to destroy Spiteful Returned, and then from my graveyard I am going to add a Nyxborn Shieldmate uh, back to my hand. Very cool. All right, and then, um, hmm, yeah, I am going to, s I am going to swing at you, uh, for six. Good move. Okay. Well, no, I'm, g I'm going to swing at you for four. My bad. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take all four of that. All right, and, uh, yeah, I'll end. Shit. My Phoenix is not quite as powerful, but he has, of course, Phoenix Rising. I am going to put a Swamp down and then tap 5 to cast the Acroan Conscriptor. Okay. He has Heroic because there's nothing, because of course, there's nothing more heroic than Shanghaiing soldiers every time he becomes enchanted, which is awesome for a set that has tons of enchantments. And the option to cast them as creatures for a lower cost. I am going to start my combat and swing into you for three with flying. Mm -hmm. And I'll take three. And that is my turn. All right. Aram. Ooh. Excoriate. Exterminate. I wish I could actually cast that, but unfortunately, of course, it only allows me to play lands from the top of my deck. Hmm. There, there probably is a card that lets you play the top card of your library, regardless of what it is. Uh, yes, there are. Um, trying to think In of what I want to do. You want to surrender. <laughs> hmm. Thing is, I don't actually have an answer for your, for your Phoenix at the moment. Yeah, that's that's been quite a doozy. Mm, all right, I'm gonna spend uh, four mana in order to cast a Peregrination. Multiplication which to, uh, has put, begun. Uh, one, uh, one land uh, from uh, from my library onto the battlefield tapped, and another land into my hand. They have to be basic, right? Yep, basic. Um, you I'll reveal those cards. Planes to put into my hand, and I will put this planes onto the battlefield tapped. Nice. And then you scry one. one life. Mm, uh, do Sweet I scry deals. From, uh, yes, I do scry. Uh, allow me. Uh, allow me to put this. Sorry, I'm putting this forest that was on top of my deck. It was uh, onto the bottom of on my library. 
Nice. Oh, yeah. How do you score? <laughs> All right. That, God damn. I should have been just watching myself. <laughs> I could see the top card yeah, of your library, okay. <laughs> but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. And then... And then I'm going to put a... Uh, right. I'm going to put a, a uh, forest down because I've not actually played a land this turn. Not with a land play, no. Life. Nice. And then... I think I'm going to cast my Spirit of the Labyrinth. No, oh, it's not another creature with flying. Can't draw more than one card each turn. That's donkeys. I know. Mm. All right, and then... All right, I'm going to swing at you with four in the air. Uh, two in the air and two on the ground. Two in the air, two on the ground... All right, I got to eat all of that, so I'm down to eight. Okay. The lead has changed. All right, and I will end. Needs more Pegasus. It does, honestly. Pe uh, well, Pegasus is amazing. Hmm. Do I use this, or do I... Why the... F F is this so expensive? I'm gonna pay five because fuck this shit. I'm gonna enchant my Crone Conscriptor with the Nyxborn Idolon, giving him plus two plus one. Right. He is now a five three. I'm gonna reflect with custom power and toughness. Click, clack, click, th three, clack, clickety. Okay, he's now a five three, and his heroic activates because I just enchanted him. I am going to target. Uh, I'm gonna target your loyal Pegasus. All right. He's untaps, and he gains haste until the end of the turn. During my attacker step, I'm going to swing into you for five in the air, and okay. five on the ground. All right. Um, Actually, wait. I is this a, this, this is a good move? Okay, this, this is a good move. Please continue. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have my Spirit of the Labyrinth uh, block your uh, Archon Conscriptor. Fuck. So my Chrome Conscriptor is dead. Alright. And then you and take then five take damage five. from the... Yes, sir. And at the end of the turn, I give you back your Pegasus. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, Alright. Um, and you end, so my move... This is such a close game. <laughs> it is a close game. Hmm. All right. Um, I'm going to play a planes and gain another life, and then all right. Um, all right. I'm going to pay three. In order to enchant my loyal Pegasus with Nyxborn Shieldmate, giving him plus one, plus two. Nice, so now he's a 3-3 three, three with flying. Mm, uh, power and toughness at 3-3. Uh, three, three. Alright, next I'm going to uh, spend two in order to cast Seder Wayfinder. Nice. More bodies. Allowing me... To view the top four cards in my library, reveal doesn't actually allow me to uh, interact with everything that well, and it is, I can add any of the land cards. All right, so I'm going to add this Temple of Plenty to my hand, and the nice. other four go to the graveyard. Three. Other three, sorry. Ahem. But brother, I'm good, sir. All right, and then I'm going to swing at you... Uh, for seven. For seven. I thought you were going to do that. Ugh, this is going to be, like, frustratingly close. Um, I think the, I think the move is, yeah, yeah, the move is to take all that, so I'm going to go down to one. Hold it. You, uh, in this, uh, you're declaring no blockers? I'm declaring no blockers. What, what is it? All right, I have a combat trick. Behold. Reap what is sown! Reap what is sown! Oh, you just locked me up, dude. Damn it. I should have seen it coming. 
You've revealed that card before. Especially since oh, you saw man. me add reap what is sewn to my hand. Uh. No, because I'm not paying attention to the top card of your library. It's very strange to pay attention to that. I lose the game, so that's uh, the match. All right. Well, we did get to show off a bunch of the keywords that are here. Uh, is Constellation in this set? I yeah. Know it's in the next yeah, Constellation one, is in this here. set. Oh, it is? Huh, okay. Yeah, because because every creature that has Constellation also is an enchantment creature. Okay. All right, let's 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 mm, go let's so, go back to the deck screen. Going back to the deck screen. Hello. All right. All right, so uh, to be perfectly <laughs> honest, we uh, although all this is actually significantly faster than I thought it would be. We only spent like 20 minutes here. But um, I actually like this set. I do. I don't think it's all that powerful of a set, to be perfectly honest. But this is like the only set that I've gone uh, gone in so far where Silencia actually works, and it's usually because there's a lot there's a lot of passive life gain in here. Although Corsair of Crufix is almost banned in modern because of how disgustingly powerful it is. Oh yeah, dude, you 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 get to thin your deck, and like you you get to thin your deck. <laughs> I'll say it twice. Yeah, because it's I... nice. You got to show off uh, some of your tribute stuff. I didn't. I wanted to play my Nessian Wild Ravager because, uh, man, the, uh, Nessian Wild Ravager is great. It's not actually all that powerful of a card because it costs too goddamn much, but if you can cheat out Nessian Wild, Ragis, Wild Ravager, the uh, tribute of six is fucking great. Oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, the, tri the tribute cards are pretty powerful. I, I actually... Yeah. Um, well, maybe. All right. So the, let's let's go back to the game screen real quick because on the on the subject of tribute, I do I do have more than just the phoenix at, as as a tribute card. The tribute cards in this set are quite quite ridiculous. Um, one of them, and I think this might be my f one of my favorites, is the Faragax Giant. He has a tribute too, but if you do not pay tribute, you take five damage. <laughs> right. Mm, so Which your is option is to either is to either generate a five five or you know just take five damage immediately, or just or just take five damage. I, honestly, I think the move is to just give him two power. Yeah, uh, usually. Um, um, and the other one that I got is the Thunderbolt. Again, if if you're running red, um, I believe that we have at least some way of dealing three damage at the moment. So. Against red, Faragax uh, doesn't actually work that well because it's like, all right, I'll take five damage. The next turn, I'm just gonna bolt him. Thunderbrute's actually much better <laughs> because, um, uh, because yeah, do you do you want to take a five? Mana, yeah, do you want to take a five take five, five, five with tribute with trample now later. or eight damage on your next turn? Exactly. That's that's quite the question. Mm -hmm. Destroy yeah, target uh, non-creature permanent. <laughs> Yeah, I was hoping to show off uh, Ornithark and uh, Vanguard of Bremaz because um, uh, cause, uh, uh, I was hoping to actually get my heroic stuff going, but I don't. But uh, Reap What Is Sown is pretty much the only thing I've got in here that is act, uh, aside from the Nyxborn stuff and the uh, uh, Idolans. The Idolans are great. Uh, but Dude, yeah, I, I love the to show Idolans. Off how powerful heroic can be. Heroic. But, uh, I well, like that they put it in with. With a set that concentrates on enchantments, there's a, there is a lot of synergy in this set. I'm I don't I like that they put the tributes in. It doesn't it doesn't make total sense, but I guess it's the whole theme of um of of gods in worship. Do you pay tribute to the gods or do you suffer their wrath? Mogus will smite you. Although yes. it's fucking impossible Mogus. for me to make Mogus a creature with this deck. <laughs> Uh, not really. I mean, if you get Thunderbrute out with a decent number, a uh, decent number of small, of smaller cards, Mogus actually works just fine. And remember, Mogus's CMC counts towards it. Right. So you only need six devotion to both red and black, but that's it. You need six devotion to red and black. It, it that takes a lot of permanence to get that devotion up. Not really. With Mogus out, you've got two, so then you only need four. No, no, no. You, no, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure you need. You don't need seven to both. You need seven to one or the other. In 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 any case, devotion is not all it's cracked up to be. I didn't draw into Mogus, so I didn't. I at least wasn't frustrated that I couldn't run into you with a seven five with indestructible. I I mean, I have Mogus. I stopped using him because I realized that he's stupid. <laughs> he's not. Uh, he's it's not stupid, that he's not powerful. Honestly, he's stupid. He... I'm pretty sure that 
in uh, the Black Devotion deck, Mogus actually works really damn well. Oh, yeah. Like, I was briefly running Mogus with my... Um... With the, with my demigods of revenge, demigod of revenge automatically gives five devotion both to red and black. So actually, you only need one of those to get Mogus to become a creature, and he still has right. his upkeep ability, which any ability that makes your opponent sacrifice creatures is pretty is pretty terrible. Oh yeah, especially when it's especially on four, man. I kind of I kind of wish you had gotten Mogus out because Mogus would have just outright killed me. I I need I need creatures on the field in order to win. And, uh, so, mm. yeah. All right, so, um, this was us exploring Born of the Gods. Uh, honestly, I think we should, probably should have just explored Theros if we wanted to do heroic stuff, but, oh well. Do you like this set, Cloud? Well, I, I, I should, and I do, because I'm the one who picked it. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of great uh, cards yes. come from this set. Indeed, they do. Like the other, like the other multicolored gods. I don't actually like most of the other multicolored gods, though. Uh, are you running? The Silencio are, one is kind of shit. Are you running the Ghostblade Idolon? I'm not running Ghostblade. I'm pretty Eidolon. sure Ghostblade is in the set. Mm, uh, it might be, but I don't think it matches my colors. No, it it does. It's it's a white. It's three. It's three to drop and six to bestow. Mm, yeah, and it's the double strike one, right? Yeah, it's the double strike one. He's wicked powerful. Mm, yeah, I, I, I'm not. I don't think it's here, or uh, I know it's not in my deck. So, all right then. With the archetype uh, of courage exploring... and the archetype of finality, we have first strike death touch, and you suck. <laughs> uh, but you'll never get archetype of finality out for six. It's why uh, arch, uh, archetype of courage is better because it's a three drop. Oh, of course, yes. Mm. Mm. Uh, all right, and with that, we have successfully explored the Born of the Gods set. Um, thanks, uh, thanks for uh, uh, want, like exploring with us. And next time, we will be exploring some other set. I don't know what I want to do yet. Something else. All right, guys, be safe.